Today I want to talk how to dress apple body shape. Well, actually not how to dress. You can dress whatever you want. How to flatter your body proportions if you have apple type body. It is very important to make sure that you really have apple shaped body because a lot of women, they tend to consider that if they have uh, additional centimeters or kilograms uh, around the midsection, they are instantly becoming apple body shapes. But that is not true. You might have additional centimeters around your waist. However, you might be at the same time pear shape or even hourglass or a rectangular. So apple body type means that your belly, your midsection is the most prominent body part in comparison to your whole body proportions. Another noticeable thing is that if you are putting on some weight, usually that weight uh, will be distributed on your midsection. So these are just few things to consider, either you are apple body shape or not. Now I guess that half of you just turned off this video. So I'm talking right now only to apple body shaped women out there. I want this video to be very practical. That is why I'm not giving you a list of what to wear or what not to wear. I find that it is much more important and beneficial to understand the principles how you should dress in order to flatter your proportions. So let's start. Principle da -da -da -da. number one, divide your midsection. Often when I hear the question, how should I hide, you just, I instantly want to replace this word. That word hide, it has such a negative energy. I really want you to create a little bit different approach. So this is the circle. If I would ask you where is the diameter of this circle, you would instantly be able to spot it because it's just a plain circle and you can draw the line from one point to another point. Easy. Now let's play this game if I would add two vertical lines on the side. Okay, how about that? I mean, you can still, of course, say where is the diameter. However, vertical lines on the sides, they kind of trick the eye, does it? Okay, let's make it even more difficult. Let's color those sides in black. Ta-da! the first glance, when you take a look at the circle, you will think that the diameter is two times shorter than the actual diameter of the whole circle. This principle is all about that. Dividing your midsection by adding vertical lines to your look, it might be created with the blazers, with the strategically placed color panels, it might be created with accessories and bags and scarves. It depends what look you are going for. Those vertical lines, they do the same thing. They immediately diminish the appearance of your midsection. That is how your midsection becomes divided and at the same time less prominent. Okay, um, I'm doing what, what I can do the best. Moving on to the principle number two, which sounds like this. Redefine your waistline. Usually many women, they tend to wear baggy and long tops in order to camouflage their upper part. However, in this way, they are risking of appearing even more top heavy than they really are. When you are choosing tops, dresses, skirts, uh, when you are using a belt, make sure those pieces, they emphasize the slimmest part of your midsection. That usually isn't your natural waistline, but it is just a few centimeters higher on your ribcage. By doing so, you not only will accentuate the slimmest part of your midsection that will become your new uh, waistline, but also you will elongate your bottom half of the body and that accordingly will balance out your top heavy upper part. And I know that a lot of apple shaped women, they don't like to tuck their tops in. However, I would really suggest you to do that, especially if you are adding a third top on top. 
and I have many examples and you can check my video with my mom or you can check you will be able to check more examples in my upcoming video because I have my beautiful friend and you're gonna see the results from her own wardrobe so real woman and real examples so principle number three that is really important is to skim over and skimming over cannot exist without the right materials so please cross off all the clingy materials from your list and opt for a little bit thicker but not too stiff fabrics that's gonna skim over all your lumps and bumps also it might be a good option to try woven fabrics as well as flowy fabrics that i really love for example chiffon also you can try out many layers of light fabrics that would create a nice flow and would skim over your body the length of the tops is another important part when talking about the ways to skim over and you probably have heard that the best length if you are not tucking in and if you are wearing a top on top your bottom pieces then the perfect length should be around your hip bone however i have noticed that apple shaped women they tend to wear a little bit longer tops that usually covers the crotch area as well in this way you're gonna make yourself appear shorter and frumpy that's why hip bone length is not very accurate and i find that the length of the tops that ends somewhere around where your panties leg opening starts is the most flattering that's very accurate <laughs> or otherwise if you do not feel comfortable when wearing this length then opt for asymmetrical cut tops because they do create diagonal line that is flattering and tricks the eye now moving on to the principle number four this is six number four the ways to distract in order to distract the attention from your midsection you have two options Option number one is trick the eye. So you can trick the eye by wearing strategically placed drapings, uh, ruchings, strategically placed prints or color blocks because they tend to flatter and camouflage. However, you have to make sure that they do not add additional bulk to your midsection. As I have already been talking, material is very important in this case as well. The second option, how you can distract attention away from your midsection is strategically create focal points. Because as we already talked, if you have apple shaped body, then the most prominent part of your body will be uh, your tummy. And that is how naturally the attention goes to that part. However, you can play around with different things to trick the eye and create new focal points and that is when open necklines, uh, interesting earrings, uh, interesting necklaces can help you out. So when you open your neckline or create new focal points uh, by wearing statement pieces, that is how the eye just naturally goes upwards. You can also draw the attention downwards. In this case, choose uh, light printed bottom pieces or pieces that have interesting pattern or you can choose statement shoes however always seek harmony and balance in your look and for example if you are going for more open neckline then stick to a little bit more neutral and uh, conservative bottom pieces now moving on to the last principle show off your legs a lot of apple shaped women they tend to have beautiful legs and that is why you should show them off however that does not mean that you have to wear mini skirts all the time but your hemline can be somewhere around your knee area another option is to go for a statement pants for example they can be embellished trousers they can have uh, interesting pattern or they can be in vivid or even lighter tones 
Even though you really have beautiful legs, do not go for too tight pants or leggings because those types of bottom pieces, they just make the disproportion of your top heavy and slim bottom even more obvious. And yeah, so that was the last principle and since my baby is calling me, uh, I just wanted to quickly remind you that the most important thing is to look for the ways how you can divide your mid section in order to make yourself look leaner and taller another important thing is to redefine your waistline of course as well as skim over your body and curves another important principle is to look for the options how to distract attention away from your midsection and lastly you have beautiful legs show them off and that is it for today thank you so much for watching uh, please be safe and take care of your beloved ones and people around you. Sending you lots of distant kisses and hugs. Take care. Bye.